Hey everyone, so let's learn about corpse wax or soap bodies. So there is a process called saponification. This is when a deceased body and the fat on that body is exposed to anaerobic bacteria. This moist, wet, yep, I said the word moist, this moist, wet environment that the body is exposed to typically in the ground when buried, sometimes can be exposed to soil and other moist areas. It turns that fat into this corpse wax or cadaver soap or cadaver wax, lots of names for it. And it's greasy, it's gray. Over time it does harden and gets flaky. This is not actual soap not actual wax that you're going to use to make a candle or anything, not soap you're gonna to use to wash your body. Let's read a little more. So Ripley's.com says, a chemical process called saponification or making into soap. Is it work in these instances? People intentionally use this process to make soap out of vegetable oil and animal fat. So that's how we make soap that we use. We're just not gonna do it from humans. Typically, the triglycerides and the fatty material evolve into soap through the health, help of a chemical component such as lye. But when it happens to humans, it's not really on purpose. Bodies that end up in water or soil with the right enzymes can have their fat turn into wax. Then the rest of them decays and you're left with a skeleton covered in these thick deposits of soap, as they call it. So there's soap mummies, um, that whose bodies have converted fat into the wax known as adipocere. Grave wax, corpse wax, all the names. Um, Caitlin Doty talked about this a lot in a video as well. There's a couple on display at the Muter Museum in Philadelphia, the soap lady, and there is a soap man also at the Smithsonian. So this is just a little about corpse wax and the saponification process. This does not happen to every single body. So no, you not necessarily are gonna be turned into soap.